All right. We live. Yo. <laughs> What's going on, everyone? Charlie checking in, coming at you with a new look, man. Uh, when's the last time you seen me without my damn facial hair, bro? It's horrible. I had to wear a mask. could let anybody see me until I at least got some scruff going, man. What do you think? Think I look like the old man? <laughs> What's up, uh, Basura Disposal, Al Rose, Angry Junior? Guys, we have something awesome to share with you guys tonight, man. You know, I'm just continuing uh, 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 my applause and my gloating. I'm sorry. Whatever. I don't give a damn. You know, um, uh, 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 celebrating, you know, Isaac, uh, uh, continuous downfall as it were, man. We got something really good to share with you all tonight. And, uh, I may seem a little extra patty. I don't care. I'm patty. So, uh, I'm going to be patty tonight. What do you think about that guys? <laughs> Buckle up, man. We're going to have some good old fashioned immature fun while, uh, sharing some facts. You know what I mean? Shedding some more light on these people. You know, that tried their damnedest to make me seem like this crazy. Well, I mean, that was kind of crazy, but I can't really say, you know. Um, but, you know, definitely did the, all they could, you know what I mean, to uh, uh, help me uh, 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 go over the edge, you know, and make you all believe the absolute worst of me. You know, I'm, I'm just a rapist, child abusing, elderly abuser. Uh, what the fuck else did they fucking said about me? Let me just share this on Facebook and Twitter real quick. All right. I'm live. Come join. Listen in on Isaac the Deadbeat. Oh, God. <laughs> this guy, dude, he is just continuing to them. Shove his own fat cankles in his mouth. His own foot in his mouth up to his fucking cankles. I'm live. Come and join. Paste. And boom. There we have it. So Eric has also took some, uh, uh, done the liberty of taking some screenshots for me here. So, because um, we've been having a really good time on Twitter. Guys, my head freaking... Woo, I'm sweating right now, man. It's freaking warm in here. We have a couple of days left uh, of summer. Um, and uh, uh, yeah, I'm needing a fan, man. I'm living like it's the fall, but it's still kind of summer out here, man. So anyways, let's bounce up here, man. Show some love to everybody checking in, man. 95 people here on this beautiful Saturday night, guys. I've been up since 4 o'clock this morning, man. I went to work this morning, did overtime. Only had to work half a day, man. Kind of pissed me off. I'd rather, you know, be a little longer than four hours. But uh, nonetheless, you know, yeah, man, I've been up and at it all fucking week. Holy dog shit. Even worked overtime all week. And, uh, man, I kind of I kind of debated whether I wanted to go live or not. I wasn't so sure whether I'd have the energy you know, in me, you know, but uh, there's just something primal in there, guys. There's just something in me that just has to go live and just share with you all and laugh and have a good time about this. Um, because quite frankly, come on, why not? You know, these people have, you know, Isaac, you know, uh, 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 specifically, you know, and of course he was paid by Michael, you know what I mean, to stalk me and harass me, you know, but nonetheless, you know, Isaac is the face, you know, that uh, 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 I can put on my uh, uh, um, aggravation, I guess, as it were, you know, and and he was the one that was there, you know, daily uh, 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 making, you know, spreading the lies, the bullshit, you know, and, you know, attacking people that I love, you know, and um, yeah, you know, it's really good to see this, this shit happen to him, you know what I mean? Kind of building it up. Kevin Zerfus, man. Much love to you, Kevin. Hopefully you're having a great night, man. Al Rose, Lucy Weber, Nick 303, Big T in the house. Big T in the house. Sweet T in the house. What up, Sweet T? Uh, Brenda Pika, much love to you, Brenda. Hopefully you're having a great night. Wonderful Saturday. What did I do? I just got done watching uh, Daddy's Home. That was a really good one, man. I'm ready to watch part two. I think I've actually seen part two. I didn't see part one. <clears throat> I'm not so sure. I've seen it at the end of part one. John Cena came in. I don't know. 
I don't remember seeing, you know, daddy's daddy's home with John Cena. Called the wild boy, Joey, uh, Joey Mullins. Eileen Tortolero, I think I remember that name. How you doing, Eileen? Amber Renee, Catherine Crouch, Jordan Yawn, uh, Ray Fan, 1971, Mel and uh, Adrienne Locker. What Mel and Adrian? I saw something about drinking. Uh, yeah, no drinking, bro. You are doing good. Damn right. Hell yeah, guys. I'm almost 15 months fucking sober. How about that shit, bro? So freaking awesome. I mean, maybe a little tropesy here and there, you know. Um, uh, but then, what is that? Come on. You know. Um, uh, but I haven't. No alcohol, no drugs, man. I've been cool, dude. Enjoying my life. And uh, uh, things have gotten a lot better, guys. You know, if you are if any of you are out there, you know, struggling with the alcohol addiction or any 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 sort of addiction, you know, oh, I got me a super chat here. Just take a look at me, man, because, you know, life can can go. Uh, can you know, Life can turn around for you, man. You're stuck in that pit. You think that, you know, you things are just uh, you know, you're at your worst. Guys, you all saw me at my fucking worst. Pink hair, a friendly stranger, five dollars, four ninety nine, right there. Thank you so very much. Bless you, right there. I'm sure a friendly stranger used there watching me go through my shit, all spun out, you know, on fucking Adderall, eating my nephew's fucking Adderall and shit, while popping back my dad's K pins. Dad used to th keep a thing of Kalana pins, man, right by the door. Like it was almost like it was community, but it wasn't really, you know. But every now and again, he'd be like, "Take one, you calm down," you know. And I don't think maybe he liked him or whatever, you know. I don't know. Anyways, man, I was doing all kinds of shit. I'm not blaming no damn body else but myself, you know. And you all sat back and watched it, man. And any of you that would go that have gone through it or that are going through it or were going through it at the time, you know, you you, you picked me out. You were like, boom, Charlie, come on. You're not fucking fooling anybody, you know. And um, and yeah, you know, I, I wasn't, you know, it took me having it took me really getting serious. You know, in order for my life to actually seriously change, you know, Kathleen Crouch, Junkyard Dog, Joey Mullins, I call the Wild Boy Snake Eyes 72. Uh, yeah, okay, Josh, Josh Glendinick, what is up, brother? I'm real pretty and Hercules. <laughs> How are you guys doing? Hopefully, are y'all still doing videos? I have not watched any videos on YouTube, man. I've been stuck on serious radio here lately, and uh. Uh, yeah, you know, keep, you know, keep, keep vlogging. Maybe I should try the, uh, the Packy One Chip Challenge. I, I, I hate that I, I offer or I suggest that to you guys whenever it hurt me so badly. Big T, what's up, said Isaac recently said that you're not working. He said that your oldest sister confirmed it. You elaborate, can you elaborate on that for the fans? <laughs> you know, Isaac says a lot of shit, right? How much, how much shit is fucking Isaac said? Uh, 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 since 2017, you know, that we've done proven, you know, to be false, whether we've proven it or he or time itself, you know, has proven, you know, and we're going to talk about a little bit more here in a bit, but you know, I mean, I ain't got to explain shit, uh, uh, you know, that Isaac, uh, 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 conjures up as it were, you know what I mean? Much love to my older sister. Dawn, you know what I mean? She has been kicked and scruffed around by the family for, a, you know, <clears throat> for a long time, ever since dad died. You know, she's been boxed out, as it were, <clears throat> you know, and um, it's really sad to see Isaac once again going after my older sister. You know, we saw it happen back uh, in, what, 2018 or whatever, whenever I, I had a sort of little semi-mental breakdown, as it were. End up moving to Alabama to start over again and working at fucking Sonic. Like, <laughs> you know, I hated it. Holy shit. You know, but my sister was there for me, Don. I love you so fucking much for that, you know. And, uh, and I, you know, I warned you guys. I apologize, you know, for, for what, you know, what Michael, uh, put you through. Initially, what Michael put you through. You know what I mean? Apparently, who remembers that whenever I was living in, uh, uh Alabama, actually, uh, Working at Sonic at the time, you know, and Michael went live on Isaac's uh, channel, Be Our Guest, and actually uh, uh, said, oh, yeah, Charlie's living up there in Alabama. His sister's Dawn is working at Sonic. Bet your ass Charlie's working at Sonic because I was bragging about laughing or I was bragging about having a new job and shit. And they straight up called Sonic and talked to uh, uh, Dawn's sister, Melanie. And she was the manager, called her up on the phone, had a nice long chat with her. 
Charlie, yada, 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 and we can do yada, 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 you know? <laughs> so sad. So sad. Don was actually in the hospital here not long ago. You know what I mean? And uh, her breathing wasn't doing really well, you know? And, uh, well, you know, we wish her a lot of luck and uh, uh, well wishes. You know, I hadn't really talked to her in a minute. But, uh, but yeah, hopefully she is doing well. Let's see if Fatty has tweeted yet. Fatty, Fatty Watch, no, he hasn't said a word yet. So, anyways, anyways, let's go ahead and get into the meat and potatoes. Um, apparently, Isaac, uh, he's still, I guess he, he had a settlement with the court. Part of it is still, is still under effect, but not really. Let's see here. We're going to show you guys. Isaac has uh, uh, lost his settlement with his landlord. Forced to pay $2,000. Can somebody send me uh, uh, the picture of that? Miss uh, Gina Satelli, thank you so very much. Hi. How you doing, Gina? <laughs> Appreciate you always being here every time I'm live. And, uh, uh, you know, the fact that you've been here, you know, for, for quite some time. You've watched me... Uh, struggle and fight and uh here i am you know uh uh here i remain you know stronger than ever holy shit laughing at the fact that isaac has fucked himself and his family at a, a, a house and home guys how about that shit isaac has been beefing with this fucking landlord beefing with this fucking landlord for what now over a fucking year almost two fucking years now isaac has been uh, using the COVID loophole to not pay any fucking rent or anything, lights, utilities, or because apparently we're getting, we're going to get into that, to not pay a fucking dime on a rental property that he, uh, uh, according to him, making ten thousand dollars a month, uh, uh, was able was uh, was able to afford to pay, just was not going to pay. Because the landlord uh, refused to refused to ta uh, make any repairs. We're talking about a house that Isaac claims is what five bedrooms. Yet you look on Zillow and it's two bedrooms. Then Isaac, what, what did Isaac say? How did Isaac say? Uh, oh, we put a hundred thousand dollars worth of renovations into this house that we're buying. The same house that Isaac is being sued to what two thousand dollars for. I don't know what the $2,000 exactly for, you know, uh, but judgments for the plaintiff in the amount of $2,000. Can somebody please send me this shit? Let me see if anybody, what do we have right here? Who that boy? Who that boy? Judgment for the plaintiff. Go ahead and take a nice whiff of that, Isaac. So everybody, judgment for the fucking plaintiff in the amount of $2,000. $2,000. Hoo-ha! Judgment for the plaintiff, uh, landlord, tenant, complaint issued via hand delivery. Straight up handed it to Isaac's ass. Here you are. I bet Isaac didn't even fucking, you know, step outside. You know his ass just bad hand out the door. You know, dude, fuck you. Uh, you know, you know, I'm not, dude, this, place, this place sucks, man. These holes in the wall. Uh, like, holy dog shit. Rent in arrears, $2,000. I'm not exactly sure how it's only $2,000. And it's just Isaac Guest on, uh, as the defendant. So I guess pro possibly Nicole's not on the lease. You know, I guess if, I guess if they were both on the lease, wouldn't it stand to reason that, uh, that uh, they'd both be getting drugged to court, you know? So Isaac likes to talk shit about how Charlie's not on the lease. Well, uh, it doesn't seem like uh, his old lady's on the lease here neither. Otherwise, you know, she'd be on the hook for $2,154.25. And a quarter. We want their fucking quarter, bro. And this was, uh, when, what's the date on this? 9-17-2021. Don't let Isaac tell you, oh, that was some old shit. That was some old shit. That was from back when I was being sued by my last landlord. 
what's did fucking happen? How many goddamn landlords do you got to get sued by, Isaac? Ace man in the house. Much love, Cotty Wampa. What's up, Miss Cotty Wampa? Erica said that she misses you. Ace man, his own wife isn't on the lease, or both their names would have been on there. There you go, Big T. How about that? It says, think of the money Isaac could make if he exposed your brother and family. He could easily make a couple of thousand a month. Maybe. But hey, that's why I'm, I actually I was about to say that's why Michael's paying his bills. But it appears that Michael's not paying his bills. Oh, holy shit. Isaac's got to get fucking drugged to the court, struck through the fucking mud, stomped on. Like the pile of dog shit he is by the wolf pack fucking live. <laughs> and he still ain't going to do shit. He ain't going to roll on Michael. I guarantee you he won't roll on Michael because all of his, what little bit of fucking fans he's got, he's got how much fucking, how, how big is the fucking slob mob now? You know, and he just, he's trying to fucking hold it and it's slipping through his fucking fingers. What little bit he does have. So you might have, who knows? You know, I would say that because like they're all going to turn on Isaac. As soon as Isaac does, guess what? Michael's going to go to Keemstar. And he's going to be like, Keem, I need your help. Let's do to Isaac what we did to fucking Dylan. And then they're just going to fucking bury Isaac, you know, with a couple of multi-million subscriber YouTubers. Sound about right? What do y'all think? Do you not think that Michael has something planned? You know, if that were to ever happen, that he has a contingency plan that he can, you know, pass to get out of? Big T says, I've never seen them live anymore. Ever since Erica and Charlie did that video about all the court stuff and police calls, they never go live. Fatty? Well, and, and then Fatty had a... Uh, 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 who, uh, uh, Larry and Larry and the, uh, the fuck around gang going live for him until they got tired of being his whores. They bailed. I don't know. And like, you know, like he has so many people, so many, so many, uh, uh, uh um, agencies involved with his fucking family. Now he's got the court system. He's got fucking DSS. He's got the school system. He's got... Everybody probing fucking tubes up his ass, you know, that they can't watch. Like, they and they know that he's this YouTube star. Hell, he was on his fucking local news station, proclaimed YouTube star. Calling local pizza joints and shit and saying, hey, if you don't give me my money back and send me more free pizza, I've got 5 million subscribers that'll call and shut you down. He called and said that to Mandy's. Shout out to Mandy's Pizza. Bub, what is up? Got some screenshots here, man. Erica wanted me to give y'all a shout out, man. <laughs> oh, okay, yeah. Uh, uh, who that boy? Yeah, we're going to get to that. We're going to get to that here. Isaac also, like we all know, that I, the reason that Isaac lost his guest mob is because he got caught scamming them. Out of $5,000. Raise your hand if you remember that. Go ahead and give me a number one. You know, give me a number one if you remember that shit. I don't like my hat like that, man. It's too square. What do y'all think, man? That shit. I'm like, hey, I like Elmer Fudd. <laughs> I'm hot and fatty. I'm like, <laughs> I feel like Elmer Fudd there. Anyways, yeah, so, man, he went ahead and... Told all of his damn slob mob, if you're not hip on the situation, that um that he had a fellow uh, 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 member in need. Robin, are you in here? Last time I talked about this, Robin was actually in the building. And uh, Gary Balzac, says he scammed them, and then he's like, I don't know why they left. I don't know why they left. No, they sure did. <laughs> yeah, yeah. He got, he got busted. Scamming all of his guest mob for this young girl named Robin, who is homeless, homeless, something like that. You know, I think she was getting into it with her family in and out. You know, a lot of family can, you know, especially when you have like uh, 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 addictions and shit, you know, family are like, stay clean. You got to go, you know, could have been one of them things or something like that. I'm not exactly sure. I just know that 
you know, it was an unfortunate, you know, the girl needed help and shit. And Isaac used this situation for his own needs, guys. Like I said, this is nothing that was a uh, uh, just spur of the moment shit right here, guys. Isaac has not been paying rent since uh, the whole uh, COVID loophole uh, took effect last, what, March? And he himself has uh, come forward and openly, you know, uh, 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 admitted this uh, smugly and happily. Like, yeah, I'm not paying my bills. I'm not paying this fuck. He even went so far as to say that um, uh, that he's not filing the paperwork for this guy to get paid. Because Isaac, technically, you know, he's, uh, he's he doesn't make enough. We're going to get to that. But technically, he doesn't make enough. And so this guy could uh, 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 be reimbursed through a government fund. But Isaac wanted to be such a little bitch, such a petty bitch. Over, over over essentially nothing. He claims that the guy won't cut the grass like that. Like he has to cut the grass. He's claiming that this house was like a shithole, even though he tells everybody that he lives in a really nice house and stuff. You know, he really contradicts himself. You know, he tells us he's living in a real nice house, but then he says he, you know, the course that he's not paying his rent because the house is not up to par. It's a piece of shit. Yada 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 yada. You know, it's. It's a whole fucking shit show, right? So he's been going on uh, over a year now, not paying. Christopher, what's up, brother, man? I see you've been having a, uh, since Chris is in the hospital. Oh, yeah, man. I, I Hopefully, yeah, everything is fine. Well, man, I hope so, man. Just know that I, I yeah, I, I saw, uh, I've seen the post, man. And, uh, and uh, I think about you, man. You know, much love, positive vibes sent your way, man. Peace Treaty says uh, he's on welfare too. He's absolutely on welfare. Uh, we've shared, we've proven this. Uh, uh, and, and if you go back and you watch my live streams from like three months ago, um, it was like six hours worth, guys. We went through everything, all police testimony, even all the way down to him having to call the ambulance because, or for himself because he ate a Carolina Reaper and almost died. Uh, and, uh, they actually had a police call against Isaac from his welfare worker for not giving Isaac a raise, not giving Isaac more money, said that Isaac, uh, threatened to physically harm his, uh, welfare worker had they not gave him, uh, 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 more money. <laughs> How about that shit? You know? So, uh, yeah, you know, he's been living off of government assistance for quite some time. Let's see here. Okay, so let's see here. On April 27th of 2019, this is something new here from, uh, we're going to share a new one, guys. I told y'all I had more, didn't I? I've got like a whole nother fucking chapter worth of fucking police reports if you guys like to hear it. Isaac, you want me to share some more of your shit? Y'all guys want to hear some more? I got another story for you. Gather around, everybody. Story time. Group therapy time, man. Story time. Got 231 people here. Uh, fanboy, Gary Balzac, Lucy Weber, Anna Q, Donna Ka Donald Callahan, Don of the Dead, Ace Man. Nikki needs to finally leave his ass. Isaac can go live on Kensington with the homeless. <laughs> Bro, like I say, I Nikki and the kids are Isaac's scam. They talk about uh, how Isaac's a scammer and shit. The kid, the wife and the kids are Isaac's scam because without the wife and kids, Isaac would just be a lazy ass broke fucking bum who would be living, you know, wherever the fuck he could. Whoever would let him fucking sleep his big ass on their fucking couch. Or he'd find another woman to, uh, to, to scam and, you know, use, you know. So anyways, check this out. It says, uh, on April 27th of 2019, Officer Green, Officer Tijak, TCJAK, and I, Officer Gary Pavlicic, uh, uh, were dispatched to 40 Glenmore. Uh, so this was uh, 2019. This isn't, uh, yeah, it was a couple of years ago, but this is this is the house before they moved into, you know, uh, where they're at now. For a report of domestic dispute involving a neighbor. Which has now entered the pro who which has has now entered the property of the caller. Oh shit! Fucking Isaac's going going balls on these motherfuckers. Upon arrival, 
Officers observed Isaac Guest sitting near so-and-so Glenmore Avenue. He was bleeding from his hand, had his shirt torn, and appeared exhausted and sweating profusely. <sighs> he ran over there and went to swing on him, but he fell down trying to catch his breath and scraped his knuckles up. And then, yeah, then he tried to rip his shirt off, and that just further, like, oh, oh, he was, it was a whole thing. Let's see here. Uh, let me get back here. Officers asked him if he wanted to see medics, and he refused. Officers asked him what happened, and he stated that his wife, uh, Nicole Guest, and he had been arguing all day. The fight turned into video, him videotaping her while she was arguing with their son. Nicole observed him videotaping her, and she turned and spit on him and grabbed the newborn child and left the residence. Tan me! Got me a dollar. I got a dollar. I got a dollar. Gonna make me shit and holler. <clears throat> Thank you for that. I really appreciate it. All uh, super chats are welcomed and loved and uh, um, spent wisely, man. I'm not just damn going out and spending on fucking... Uh, DoorDash, and, and, and I'm not scamming fucks for what I need, you know. Of course, that's that's actually two different things. So, anyway, uh, um, uh, let's see here. Oh, so Nicole had been arguing with her kid, little Isaac. Her eldest son was sitting there yelling at him, the one that she called, the one that you call stupid, and until he had tears coming out of his face. That one? Is that why he was arguing? He's like, I'm not stupid. You're stupid. Spell stupid. And then Nikki was like, Shoo, S3, you, you stupid, Holmes. Fuck off, Nick. Yeah, you know, her, she tries to be a fucking thought. That, that's bad when you aspire to be a thought. Anyway, so let's see here. Nicole observed him videotaping. Nick, don't do you feel me? I treat my my boy how I want. Don't tell me how to discipline my kids. Isaac's like, hey, now I got you. I, the police have already seen you're at. You 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 told the cops that you're fucking unstable, bitch. <laughs> so she grabbed the newborn child and she fled. Newborn, dude, where's it at? So it goes back. Go back. Go be back. Bye bye. Be back. Be be back. Uh, Nicole observed him videotaping. She turned and screamed at him from inside the home. Oh, okay. oh man. Oh, you hear it. I'm man. That should have thrown me. Spit on him and grabbed their newborn child and left the residence. Isaac assumed due to past fights that Nicole probably uh, went uh, went with the kids over to speak to so and the neighbors. They got they got some shit blanked out here. I don't know what the, the neighbors names or something. Isaac stated that he heard uh, so-and-so. It pushed him. So Nicole grabbed the kids and ran to the neighbor's house and was like, I need help, you know. And the neighbor was like, it's okay. Come on in like a good neighbor is supposed to fucking do. You know, and then Isaac rushes over there and like, hey, don't you get involved with my fucking family, motherfucker, you know. Even though he's got his fucking damn chins all up in my shit, you know, every single fucking day. Until recently, until I started fucking dragging his ass and embarrassing his ass and exposing his fucking ass to the point of fucking no return, that Isaac says, Why is Charlie talking about me? Ha! I'm running fucking victory laps around your ass. And, dude, those are big fucking laps. But I'm enjoying every minute of it, man. <clears throat> so, anyways, let's see here. So, yeah, sum it up now. Isaac is uh, videotaping his wife. Get into it with the kid. Perhaps he's got Isaac. He's goading it on. Isaac, you want your mom to talk to you like that? You know, be a fucking man. You know, don't you let a woman ever t treat you like that. You know, you know that Isaac's teaching his fucking children that maybe even if he doesn't fucking say it, you know, he shows them in the way that he treats Nicole himself. And all the times that he's bait and switched her. You know, and, and manipulated her and worked her. You know, don't you think them kids, you know, they're like they're like little inmates, you know, in the asylum, sitting back watching and learning. <clears throat> Isaac ain't never showing them how to fucking uplift a woman. So she takes the fucking new, spits on Isaac. Ah, pulls the whole pumpkin on New York thing. Ah, 
Fuck you, how goddamn dare you? Blah, you know, she has spider for Isaac's soul at this moment, you know. You you goddamn making me trying to fucking bait me again. Ha ha ha. She she's she straight up pumpkins his ass. Takes the kid, flees to the neighbor's house, <coughs> at which point Isaac uh, follows. The door of the residence then opened and he pushed him and then Isaac said he pushed him back. So the guy opens the door and is like, get the fuck out of here. You know, pushes Isaac and Isaac, no, fuck you, and pushes him his way into the door. Holy shit. Holy fucking shit. This is getting kind of crazy, guys. Oh, man. Holy shit. This is starting to get scary. Uh, uh, the door of the residence opened. The guy pushed Isaac and then Isaac pushed him back. And then put him into the headlock, uh, pushed him uh, down and left the porch area and heard sirens. That's when he heard the sirens. Got the guy in the headlock in front of the guy's kids and shit. Oh, my God, dude. This is just fucking. We're building up to a crescendo here. This is like a symphony. If there, were, if there was background music to this right now, it, it would be a, you know, a Danny Elfman classic, bro. I mean. We're building crescendo at this point, man. He's, this is Mr. Holland's opus, man. Check it out, bro. Says, uh, uh, left. So Isaac hears the cops. He's like, okay, oh, shit. Got to concoct, concoct the story fast. <coughs> Tried shoving his fingers down his throat, man. Maybe peeling a scab that was on his arm and trying to rip it harder. <laughs> you know, trying to manufacture uh, uh, um, scenes of, you know, him being attacked. So, yeah, it says uh, uh, he stated he was not sure how. I don't know how my shirt got torn. I was just walking down the street and my shirt was fine. And then the next minute I know it was torn, man. I don't know if it was missing time or if there's some, if there's an invisible man around here. Maybe these the clock stoppers, you know, them kids that tinkered with that fucking watch. You know, they broke it and they got it back together and they fucking clock stopped me, man. I'm telling you it was Wolfpack, man. They clock stopped me. So he says, yeah, I don't know how the fuck my shirt got torn, officer. <laughs> it just deconstructed it. So like, man, you know, the, the threading, you know, I got it from Marshalls, you know, it's, they're, uh, you know, you know, they're not knockoffs, but, you know, like slight off, you know, and the threading must have just been shit. And my shirt, my sleeve just completely just fell off while I was walking, you know, like a leaf in the wind. Except it wouldn't have rolled off of Isaac's arm. It would have just sat there like stuck in the flab, you know, just kind of slowly came off like a rip away shirt, you know, it's more like, you know, <laughs> one of those things that, uh, you know, the wrestlers used to wrap around their muscles. <clears throat> so anyways, officers went in and spoke with the, uh, uh, the neighbor to whom uh, Nikki ran for help with their newborn child. Officers went in and spoke with so-and-so who had two, two children at the, awake at the time Isaac appeared to be, no, at the time, and who appeared to be visibly upset. This, this man's two children. This man did nothing wrong. He's probably sitting at home fucking eating a microwave dinner, you know, saying, watching that 70s show, you know. You old dumbass, you know, he's like, ah, fucking, fucking mushy ass peas and shit, ah, you know, eating his Salisbury steak and shit, man, watching the gang get into some shit, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, you like that, Ryan? This this is horrible. I hate it. You are not going to see me clean shaven ever again, guys. This is the fucking last time ever. Promise you, this is the last time. You remember this fucking face. You see this fucking face? This is the last time you're going to see this fucking face, okay? I swear to God, this is the absolute worst shit, dude. I look like a fucking goober. <laughs> a mix between my, my dad and my papa. It's it's weird. It's weird as fuck. Part part angry grandpa, part Uncle Bobby. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm halfway slob mob right now. All right, man. Jokes aside, let's get back. Let's get back to it, guys. Cause this is some serious dope. Holy shit, man. Like what the fuck, bro? Like I say, man, this guy just sitting at his house, you know what I'm saying? Watching, watching guess mob, you know, probably watching one of Isaac's old videos. You know, let's face it. Everybody's watching Isaac shit. Probably watching one of Isaac's old videos and Nicole runs up. And he's like, huh? Oh my God. It's royalty. A fucking local famous YouTuber. Fucking Nicole guest banging on my door. What can I do for you? Miss Nicole guest. 
Holy shit, local you local famous YouTuber, Nicole Guest, at my door. And she's crying and she's got a baby and she needs help. And I must help this famous woman who I'm not, who I don't know, but I can definitely see and sense the 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 urgent, you know, urgency and, and need for help right now. Isaac runs over there, pushes the pushes the guy all up against his his own foyer. I'm actually who has a fucking foyer in the ghetto, right? B pushes around him on his, on his stoop. <laughs> They're tussling around on the stoop. Isaac's got him in a fucking headlock, and this guy's kids are daddy, <laughs> the big man, weird, you famous YouTuber. Oh, that's Isaac. Yes, get off my daddy. They're conflicted, like they want to be like, oh, it's our favorite, it's our favorite YouTuber. You know, but he's got my daddy in a headlock. You know, what do I do? I'm conflicted. Ah! You know, like they were visibly upset. The officer didn't say the children were crying because they were obviously conflicted. You know, like here they are meeting their favorite fucking YouTuber of all time, but he's choking their fucking dad out. Like it's weird. Yeah, it's weird. It's like, it's like if, uh, <laughs> you know, Kurt Cobain, you know, I took my dad to a, 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 a Nirvana concert back when they were around kicking, you know, and dad got dad just happened to score me some fucking tickets, you know, and we're there watching the show, rocking out, yeah. And then dad does something stupid, and Kurt's like, you fucking puss, and bam, hits him in the face with the guitar or some shit, you know, like I'd be conflicted. I'd be like, shit, I just had this interaction with Kurt Cobain, man, but fuck, you knocked on my dad's goddamn teeth out. Fuck, you know, like I don't know if I like you anymore, Kurt. You know, that's, that's how those kids were. They were visibly upset. Said one of the children had their head buried into uh, uh, their mother's bosom. And when they, not mother's bosom, it's kind of blocked out. One of the children had their, their, their heads buried into so-and-so as if they were extremely scared. According to their entire family, Isaac and Nicole have a history of domestic violence. Like, man, we tired of this shit, man. We try to sit over here and act like we don't hear nothing. You know, we tried to be good neighbors one night, one time, and Nicole told us to fuck off. With her black eye and broken finger, man. That motherfucker, she flipped us off. That bitch was sideways. And she said, fuck off, mind your own business. So I swear to God, we be trying to just mind our own business, man. We turn up the fucking TV and shit. And these motherfuckers come busting through my door. I'm happy with this shit. <laughs> You might he might even told his kid, yo man, you better put some tears, extra tears on this shit. We gotta get these motherfuckers out of here. <laughs> yeah, these motherfuckers minding their own business, man. Said these people, they're constantly at it. Nicole and Isaac constantly at it. Uh so they have taken Nicole and the children in the past to save her from being hurt by Isaac. It has a front porch, which is also equipped with a lock gate, which they are sure was locked. They heard pounding on the front door and could hear Isaac's voice screaming, stated that he, uh, Isaac screamed several times to get, oh, no, 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 somebody else, the dude, I guess, screamed at Isaac to get off his porch. Get the fuck off my porch. Get off my porch, honey, call 911. Get the fuck off, man. And Isaac's like pounding on the fucking door. And just, <laughs> <you know? laughs> oh, like Papa Bear. <laughs> Good God, dude. This is like a horror film. The oldest child in the residence confirmed this and stated that she was scared. So the oldest child called 911. Had a fucking child call and not called the cops on Isaac. I'm scared for my daddy. The big bad bear's at the door. He's about to knock it down. It smells like bro old cheeseburgers. <laughs> Every time she smells grease, man, she's traumatized. She imagines her dad in a fucking headlock. Hell, every fucking time her dad smells grease, man, he was all up in that fucking pit. That motherfucker is the one that was visibly upset. Whoo! Isaac gave him a motherfucking nasty boy right there. On him. Oh, yeah, motherfucker! Take this shit! Started grinding the guy's fucking head into his pit like it was fucking cheese. Over spaghetti. Hey, you like that kid? Look the kid right in the eye. <laughs> Holy shit, Isaac, man. Isaac. Really? Guys, man. Phil, what's up, brother? Says proud of your success, big bro. It definitely gave some hope. Oh, by the way, I'm thinking about getting the Series X. How do you like yours? I like mine a lot. I don't play it that often, man. Like, 
uh, man, it's crazy. There's so many games, man. Let me tell you what, man. I can, I can uh, turn the Xbox off. You know, go to work. I'll, I'll play. I'll, I'll have it on uh, my game. Whatever I'm playing, GTA, Jason, whatever. Uh, pause it. Switch over to Netflix. You know, watch something else while I'm getting ready for work. Turn it off. Go to work. Come back later that night. Turn the game back on. Go to my game, and uh, uh, it'll be it'll be waiting for me. You know, you can play like five. Like I think it's like up to five games at once, bro. It is so lightning fucking fast. Uh, uh, the graphics are amazing, and uh, uh, I just don't play it that much. You know, like it's crazy. I'll play a couple of rounds of Jason or whatever, and then I'm off it. I'm trying to find. I want to find a new game. I just got this Sekiro Shadows Die Twice, and I hate it. Made by Dark Souls. It is like one of the – it's the hardest game I've ever fucking played, and I don't even want to play it no more. It's not even fun. So trying to find a new game to play. I don't know about Call of Duty Vanguard. Um, um, I don't know. We'll see. You guys throw some throw some ideas my way. We've been spending a lot of time on this, but it is good. We haven't even gotten to what you know I want to talk about, but this is good. All right, so Isaac put uh, Isaac Isaac Nasty Boys uh, gave, gave uh, 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 the dad the old the old sweaty pit, you know, in front of the kids. The oldest daughter got uh, scared. Call nine one one. Oh God! So the property has the wrap has a wraparound door, a, a, a porch has a gate on the porch. Uh, so they heard the pounding from the door. I could hear Isaac's voice from the door. Uh, <clears throat> the oldest child confirmed this and was scared and called 911. Uh, uh, so that's when the dad said, okay, fine, fuck this. Opened the door and found Isaac to be standing in his door frame. <sighs> you know, like haggard when he come to, I'm here to save you, Hattie. You know, except this is like, I'm here to fuck you, Hattie. You know, <laughs> definite, definite menace <clears throat> in his eyes, you know. Give me back my bitch. I, you were fucking her, wasn't you, Isaac? <laughs> How long you been fucking my wife? You know, the guy, Isaac's just, Nicole's looking for help. Isaac thinks that she's blowing the man. Says that uh, uh, standing in his door frame, he stated that he was in fear for his safety. He's like, oh shit, he was suddenly afraid. Here, Here's this great fucking fat ass mountain of a man in my doorway, you know, menacingly, staring menacingly down at me. And my children are behind me. I at least need to push him out the fucking doorway so I can shut the goddamn door. You know? Dude, what kind of shit, bro? Isaac literally thinks he owns the fucking world. How about this shit? Putting other families and their children at fucking risk. And, uh, you know, both physically and mentally. All because he can't control his fucking... All, not, not that he can't control his wife. I'm not saying that like, oh, control your woman. I'm saying that he wants to control her. And and she ran off from him. He's willing to go. He's willing to go fuck you up to get her back. This is like some fucking serial killer shit. This is like, oh, I'll be like, what the fuck? I'm trying to help out a neighbor. And then like their boyfriend comes over trying to fucking kill me or some shit. Like, you just don't, you know, you just don't know when this kind of shit's going to fucking happen. You know? And that's whenever you have to take that call, you know, whether you're going to help somebody or you're going to, you, you know, act like nothing's going on, you know. And this guy decided to do something about it and it put himself and his children at risk, unfortunately. It says that uh, he opened the door, found Isaac to be standing in the door frame. It said he was fearing for his safety, he pushed Isaac back from his door frame threshold. It said Isaac then came back and pushed him so-and-so, and they both fell into his living room. <laughs> so Isaac pretty much fucking bull rushed this fucker. Ah! Right into his own fucking house. Fuck you! In front of his own fucking children and the guy's children. How many fucking children were around when you fucking attacked this man, dude? Oh, man. Holy shit. A friendly stranger it says, imagine the smells between Isaac's fat folds. Salty. Mm. Smells like the ocean. 
Says based on this information and dealing with the second half of the incident, I believe that charges could be filed on Isaac on behalf of so and so, uh, as well as the disturbance to his family. When asked, so and so did not wish to press charges at this time. See that shit, Isaac. Isaac was was this guy was even either nice enough or scared enough. The guy was like the cop was like, do you want him to press charges? You know, and Isaac's like. You know, the whole Michael Michael Scott thing from Office. Isaac gave him one of those, you know, and the guy was like, I'm good. <laughs> yeah. <sighs> Man. Uh, let's see here. It says, uh, I informed Isaac of this and he did not, that he did not agree. And he wanted the other guy arrested. He's like, no, I don't. I want him arrested. I broke into his house. I accosted him in front of his fucking family, and I want him arrested. What? I bet the cop was like, huh? Holy, uh, uh, 10 4. Can, 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 you, you copy it? I can't believe this shit. Is that really what he said? Oh, my God. So Isaac says, no, I want him arrested. Uh, let's see here. And I explained that there was no evidence to support those charges. I also explained that Isaac was told in the past to not be on the property. So Isaac's fucking trespassing and uh, 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 harassing this guy and assaulting him in front of his fucking children. This guy's got fucking witnesses out the ass. And his own children and Isaac's old lady. He's been warned not to be on the property once before. Is this the same guy that he met out in the street? The guy that he beat. Remember who remembers that? Whenever Isaac had a picture of a bloody nose, and then the kid and his son, and his son in his fucking lap, Isaac with a bloody nose, like, yeah, I beat that man to a bloody pulp in front of his children. Got a post like that holding his fucking son, like, dude, you are a piece of fucking shit and a half. He's like a whole turd, and then another half of one. Uh, let's see here. Um, says he was not allowed on their property. Uh, their property door and uh, uh, the pro uh, okay, let's see here. I'm going down. Uh, he opened a gate preventing him from entering the porch area. It was late at night, and all of these observations would indicate that so and so did not want visitors, especially Isaac. The uh, officer then informed Isaac that he was welcome to speak to the ADA on Friday uh, uh, in the Judge Ophelia's office if he wanted to attempt to press the charges against the plaintiff. The guy officer's like, oh, you know, if you really want to fucking pursue this, and I, how many times that you know have we've done shown that you know has have they shown that Isaac has gone to great lengths, you know, to try and and villainize somebody and and have them have their jobs, you know, just because they're doing their jobs. Who remembers the, the court clerk that Isaac threatened and, and actually went to, went to have charges filed against because she made him come to court while he was sick. This motherfucker actually went to the fucking police station and filed charges against her. Tried to file charges because she said, oh, I can't help you. If you're sick, you still need to come in. Fact. True story. The other incidents, which uh, which would be the domestic between Isaac and his wife, Nicole. Officers observed a video from Isaac at this time where he shows the videotape of his wife, which I observed to be more of a discussion with their child about how Isaac was mentally manipulating the children to hate her. Oh, wow. Nicole then turns in the video and walks by him. And shortly after, he turns up the camera on himself and there is spit on his face. And he states she spit on him. He then states after he was done recording, she came back over and rips his shirt. So at first he says, I don't know how my shirt got ripped. Then he says, oh, my wife ripped it. She ripped it. It didn't get ripped while I was in the altercation, uh, you know, with the, with the neighbor in front of their children, to which has been proven and attested. No, no. It got ripped after I cut the camera off. I didn't get to see that. Uh, Brandon O Productions, what's up, buddy? Uh, let's see here. Spit on his face. 
Officers went over and spoke to Nicole, who had a different account. She said her and Isaac had been arguing all day, and she did spit on him earlier after he pushed her in the face. So they don't have, there's no video of him pushing her in the face, neither, apparently. But he pushed her in the face, with, even though he was looking at the, he had the camera on it the whole goddamn time, pushed her in the face, and then she spit on him. <laughs> Holy shit. I can't make this up because she couldn't fucking make it up. Oh, is that hair in my in my tea? It is. Well, I drink it anyway. That's what happens when you have it, pets. That's what happens when you have pets. Sometimes you got to sacrifice a clean glass, which I never had a clean glass growing up, bro. Forget about it. Drinking styrofoam and throw the cup away when you're done. All right, so anyways, uh, said they've been arguing all day. She spit on him after he pushed her in the face. She then left the residence with her child and went down the street. Uh, officer went back over to uh, the neighbors and spoke with them and asked if they had heard anything physical that had happened during the day. Uh, oh, they didn't, they didn't blank out the name here. Uh, blank did state that earlier Nicole had come over and said she had been pushed in the face by Isaac. So uh, the neighbor did back up and corroborate her story. You know, her claim to being pushed in the face. It just wasn't uh, 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 an automatic thing. It wasn't like he pushed her in the face and then she, ah, good. you know, like it was building up. She was disgusted with it. He got away with putting his hands on her. And then he went so far as to take the ca uh, pull out a video camera and uh, uh, try and, you know, create something for for him to show the police and use against her later while uh utilizing his children in his uh dastardly you know evil plans you know it's fucked it's pretty fucked uh so yeah then the neighbors uh, uh, uh back up her claims to being pushed in the face uh officer went back over uh yep yeah, okay Officers informed both parties that charges would not be filed due to lack of evidence and the available evidence was hearsay from each party. Officers also stated that it would be best to separate for the evening, but neither party wanted to leave the home. <laughs> oh, this is Isaac and Nikki. Neither one wanted to leave the home despite uh, a hotel being available to them and a friend's house being available to Isaac for the evening. Officers could not force either party to leave. Isaac wanted to drive his van, that trusty old van is, to leave with his children, but he had a suspended license. Oh, shit. He likes to talk about, Charlie ain't got a license. He ain't got a license. He himself, uh, uh, as of April 27, 2019, didn't have a fucking driver's license himself. And yet he has video of him driving around, pictures of him driving and shit. What can I say? I drove under a suspended license as well. So uh, my shit's clean now, though. Uh, let's see here. Uh, officers uh, couldn't force each party to leave. Isaac wanted to take the children, but didn't have a license uh, suspended. And their van is under suspension for insurance cancellation, as well as being expired. Not only was Isaac's license suspended, it was probably suspended because he didn't pay his taxes or turn, turn in the tags like he was supposed to. Man, they'll fucking bust your ass hard for that. Suspend your license straight up, too. And uh, it seems like that's what they did to him. His license was suspended. His van was uh, 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 sus uh, uh, suspended. No insurance. Like The officer was like, do I got to go on? Do I got to continue? Yeah, like the officer's like, uh, here's just got a litany. Do we really got to continue this? Uh, yeah. Uh, he was told that we could give him a ride or he could call an Uber for either him or Nikki, and he refused. Officers then cleared. They're like, you know what? All right, that's it. We just, nothing else we can do here. Let's just leave and hope that one of them don't fucking kill the other one. And that's how they left for the night. That's how the that's how April twenty seventh, the uh, April twenty seventh. <clears throat> Excuse me. Um. Yeah, April twenty seventh, the twenty nineteen. That's how the, that's how that night ended. 
So, yeah. So, anyways, Isaac has been spent. So, anyways, yeah, that's a big a little bit of information, a story that you guys haven't heard before. Y'all can go ahead and share around on Twitter, you know, and uh, take it for fact or fiction. You know, it's really up to you. I don't give a shit. You know what I mean? Um, I'm just here to, you know, just, just to, to show you. I'm just here to show you, you know, it's up to you whether you fucking believe it or not. Amy is fans of Undertaker. Thank you so much. And I like Charlie and order uh, even more than his damn brother, Michael Green. Ah, thank you so much. I appreciate it. Well, Michael's been living a lie for a long time. You guys don't, you know, you, you guys thought y'all knew the real Michael, you know, now y'all are really starting to see who the fuck he is, you know? So that's on, that's on him. You know, I'm sorry that you guys thought y'all knew him. You know, I tried telling you. How long did I try to tell you? I've been fighting this fight now for four fucking years, bro. And it ain't over. I'm not fucking stopping. Okay, I've already read all that. Um, you know, I tried telling you guys, man, you know, but you know, it's it's you got you know, it, that's the thing. You could tell anybody, you know, it's really uh that's just like me. You could tell me fucking anything, but really. I'm going to have to go to the source. I'm going to have to find out for myself, you know. Appreciate the love, you know, the heads up, but I've got to find this shit out for myself. <clears throat> so, let's see here. Fatty's trying to show that he does, in fact, pay for his uh, internet, but uh, he says something different just here a little earlier. Look, Isaac actually has to prove that he pays for his own fucking internet. Or try to show that he pays for his own fucking internet. He's over here doctoring up fucking damn Xfinity bills to make it seem like he pays his fucking bills. Oh my god, dude! <laughs> Even though he shows he 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 uh, he proves contrary just a couple hours ago. So let's see here. Isaac. Anyways, where was it at? Isaac. Uh, uh, was you know going to court and fighting with the court over uh uh unpaid rent like i said isaac was using every fucking excuse in the book to get out of paying rent you know and he got away with it all until all the way up until the eviction moratorium expired then the eviction moratorium expires and lo and behold holy shit here's isaac you know uh, uh going to court and partially being fucking settled Wonder how that is if Isaac was saying, oh, well, no, it's because he doesn't fix the property like he should. And yet the landlord is the one that fucking wins $2,200. I guess uh, now that the moratorium is over with, Isaac is officially maybe two months behind. And as soon as he hits 2000 behind, that's when his fucking landlord can say, okay, boom, now I'm taking you to court, asshole. Like the moratorium ended and Isaac still didn't pay, hoping that maybe perhaps the people would get together and they'd complain enough, you know, and the poor people would get another free fucking year of goddamn rent. Isaac could just ride the pony for a couple of months and then legislation will come forward, you know. And the liberal fat cats will fucking bail us out. So that could be why it's 2200 and some change. Maybe three months, 7 14 21. I can see $700 a month for that dump they live in. So, anyways, it got settled. Let me show you how it got settled. Let's go back to Isaac. So, like, Isaac initially says, uh, 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 that he wasn't paying because of uh, rent, you know, uh, uh, because he wasn't paying his rent because uh, uh, it, the place was a piece of shit. He even says up here, uh, I, uh, uh, the landlord won't see a dime for me. Unlike Charlie, I don't go on YouTube and complain how bad of shape my house is and that my landlord isn't fixing it. You are complaining. How many times have you said, fucking said, oh, my landlord isn't fixing my fucking house. That's why I'm not paying him no goddamn rent. Holy shit, did he really just say that? He said, I make my landlord fix it or he doesn't get paid. Doesn't get paid. Now he's paid and not from me. 
So he's still trying to say uh, 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 that that it's because of, uh, of no repairs. But, oh, my God, dude. And the very one right underneath it, he shares how he got paid, how the landlord gets fucking paid. He says, hashtag checkmate. Thanks, Biden. Oh, my God. Oh, this fucking sad-ass welfare case, guys. And no offense to anybody on welfare, you know, for any legit welfare cases, because he's not actually a welfare case. He, he, I don't know. I guess he does need it. Should be out there working. He can, he can, he can, he can do better. You can fucking do so much better, fat fuck. Thanks, Biden, he says, for paying my fucking bills. Oh, and not only do I get my repairs, he's still going off on these fucking repairs. Oh, my God. The landlord, the, this guy fucking wins 2000 some odd dollars from Isaac. Out of Isaac's pocket, give me that fucking money. You motherfucker. Give me that motherfucking money. Not only that, but Isaac's like, oh, hey, 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 hey. this guy probably has the option to kick Isaac the fuck out now, which he's going to do because Isaac's been playing hardball with this motherfucker for the last year and a half. If that was my property, I'd want you out so fucking... No, fuck that. Fuck all COVID bullshit. I want him gone. But check this out. We, I requested a six-month lease because we have other plans here soon. Winky. No, because you're getting kicked the fuck out. Oh, my God. This motherfucker says, I've only got six months. Oh, we're moving somewhere. I've got... Fuck this guy. You're getting evicted, you fat son of a bitch. Oh, my God. And then he shares this screenshot right here. Go ahead and get a load of this, guys. This is everything. This is his, uh, this is his government uh, checklist, his government program checklist. Program overview, check. Eligibility, are, are, you, and your, are you and your family eligible? Check. Applicant information? Uh, check. We've got all, you know, Isaac, you know, six foot nine, 745 pounds. Household members? Yeah, I've got four kids that pay my rent, you know, and, and, and a wife that I slap on the reg. COVID-19, oh no, income verification? Check. The government has, has pulled up all their fucking, uh, 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 Financial records and been like, okay, do they do they uh uh qualify? You know, they they, they dot all the I's, they cross all the T's, they hit all the damn you know numbers and you know double check, check. COVID nineteen impact check. I don't see how the fuck they got that, but hey man, like I say, dude, I was on unemployment for about four months there. You know, after I walked off a job because they were working me too long. You know, and uh, and I qualify for unemployment, you know what I mean, with the extended benefits, you know, so I could tell you right there, you know, anybody qualifies for, you know, COVID-19 impact, you know, it's just umbrellas, pretty much fucking anybody. It's almost like getting weed in, in, in California, You'd be like, oh, my knee hurts, you know, or or, uh, you know, you know, I belt too much, you know, anybody can get it. That's how COVID-19 has worked. Rent assistance requested, check. So Isaac went from, I'm not, I could get this man his money that he rightfully owes so that he doesn't default on his fucking home and have it taken by the bank. And he loses everything that he's fucking worked so goddamn hard for just because I don't want to pay my fucking bills. I want to I wanna coast on a fucking uh, a government loophole during a pandemic, a time of crisis, a time where people's uh, their 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 sense of anxieties and stress and worries are heightened enough as it is, Isaac uh, just gives this man another fucking reason to worry about his fucking livelihood. Because Isaac doesn't want to spend uh, pay rent; he wants to spend it on DoorDash and fucking Yeezys. Because he's not making any fucking money is what it is. Uh, so uh, rent assistant requested check. 
Utility assistance requested. Check. Utilities. Look at this. Utility assistance requested. Check. Internet and sewer assistance requested. Check. Like this motherfucker literally can't even go on the internet and bully and harass people and go flush his fucking shitty ass toilet without the fucking help of the government. Isaac cannot even flush his fucking toilet without Daddy Joe Biden helping him out. Bro, he is showing it right fucking here. Internet and sewer assistance requested. The wonderful United States of America, I need your help flushing my toilet. I can't afford to flush my fucking toilet. I need you guys to pay for my toilet to get flushed. And I need you to pay. I need all of your fucking tax dollars to pay for my fucking internet so I can go online and I can harass and dox and bully and make everyone think that I'm this fucking big fucking name, that I'm this fucking big man. And then let me show you that he goes up here to he goes up here to show his uh his Comcast bill. Motherfucker, I'm not gonna show it because that might be showing uh, uh, personal information and he'll try and get me. Well, of course it don't fucking matter. This channel isn't fucking permanent in any goddamn way. I don't give a fuck. Yeah, internet and sewer assistance requested. Daddy Joe, can you flush my toilet for me? And then, you know, no offense to any any Democrats. No, I'm not a Republican. I don't like politics at all. Shit like fucking this happens. Holy goddamn dog shit. Now, I understand we got to take care of our people. <coughs> or we need to take care of our own and people that need it and shit. This fucker, he don't need it. Prior assistance received, check. Look, <coughs> look, but even before, this is uh, uh, talking pre-pandemic. Prior assistance received, check. Housing stability case management, check. This motherfucker has shows right there. This is further proof. Look at Jay. Look, take a look at Jay. It's further proof that they are on public assistance. Prior assistance received, check. Housing stability case management, check. He's got a case manager, somebody that that makes sure that makes sure that him and his how him and his family have a stable place to live. Something that he himself is supposed to do. He can't fucking keep a stable roof over his head, so they have assigned him a case management worker. Take a look, and that's as real as it gets. Look at Kay. He cannot even fucking. Uh, 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 provide a stable household for his wife and his children. So the fucking state of Pennsylvania is going to make sure they have a, they have assigned a special worker to do just that. Not for you, Isaac, for your fucking kids. If it wasn't for your children, you'd be up shit's Creek. You wouldn't have shit. You'd, you know, you would be sleeping in a fucking refrigerator box under the overpass. With your old lady fucking stripping on the side for dimes. Which she fucking probably does any goddamn way. Then require documents and submit. There you have it. What did Ace Man say? You know Isaac is going to be bragging about relaxing in his hot tub in the back of a moving truck. <laughs> They're just going to leave that fucking dump. Isn't it like an, an inflatable hot tub or some shit like that? It's like it's like a it's like a kiddie pool for adults. So, anyways, we got some pictures here. Um, what did Erica want me to share? Oh yeah, <laughs> she's sitting here laughing. Uh, shout out to uh, uh, Black Matlock. Apparently, Nikki is a makeup artist. You know, she's done suffered so many black eyes. And bruised lips and fucking cheekbones that she's had to cover up 
you know, for videos and, and, and court appearances and shit that she thinks she's a professional now. And, uh, <laughs> apparently she's uh she's painting a girl's face for her for her uh, her, her wedding and what do you guys think judging by the girl's face here check out the bride and then the bridesmaids you know obviously the bride is uh up front and center hold on come on <laughs> and they look like they're they've all seen the the video on the ring like none of their faces are coming in Look, it's, it's such a bad job. The camera doesn't even want to focus. All right. This is kind of embarrassing. <laughs> I just want to show their face. Guys, if you can see it, man, like her face is just like, oh, my God. Ah, uh, there you go. All right, take a look. Look at all. They're like, oh, my God. That is just the fucking, the saddest. Her friend right here. Hold on. The one over here, she's like, girl, what the fuck is that on your face? This one's right here is like, mm, that's embarrassing. This one back behind her, she's like, uh, yeah, it's yeah, it's nice. And the one over here in the corner is like, I wonder if they're gonna have bacon wrap Vienna, Vienna sausages at the uh, at the um, at the after party. I'm this, this I'm, I'm hungry. And then uh, and then of course Nicole, <laughs> she's just lost. She doesn't even really know she's there. She's like. She has just been abducted by aliens, you know, and has just been beamed back. That's like her uh, natural state, you know. And it's quite funny if that's Isaac taking the picture. She's kind of like, like, who's this weird motherfucker right here? I'm telling you, though, look at look at the face, guy. Look, this is not those do not look like uh, 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 happy faces. And I don't think it has anything to do with uh, the wedding. Yeah, anyway, those are ring faces. They've all they've all watched the video and they now have seven days left to live. Actually, if you remember it, it's more like Wink. they had their eyes kind of like Wink, like you take the nose. Who remembers that part? Oh uh, yeah. Uh yeah, who that boy shout out to him says, remember when we'd clown him for being on welfare and he'd vehemently deny the fact and say he's too rich to be on welfare. Not that I'm saying there's anything wrong with people that needing that need it, you know, that have to have it, you know, unfortunate enough as it is. You got to suck up their pride and go out there and get it, you know. Isaac's not one of them. Says, uh, yeah, he's like, I'm not on goddamn welfare. I make $10,000 a month. Yeah, he qualified for this shit. Only people fucking qualifying for this damn, uh, uh, this program, this COVID shit, dude. It's the lowest of the lo the poor, the in the low income, the ones that are being left behind right now. The ones that didn't want to go out and get fucking jobs when the jobs were open back when McDonald's and Wendy's and, and all these places were fucking giving you a thousand dollar sign on fucking bonuses. Walmart you're making twelve dollars an hour now. It's still is not the best, but it's better than minimum wage, which is what, seven twenty five? All these people that were left in the lurch. Get off of that shit. Plus, they're getting what everybody with a child they're getting they're getting what an extra three hundred and fifty dollars per child every three fucking months. Isaac and them, man, he he's got him his old lady's like a, his golden goose. Shit out of fucking uh, a new dependent every couple of years. He ain't got to do shit. Should be like the old lady in the shoe, except his fat has to be stuck down there in the heel on this fucking fat fucking oversized mattress, Feed me, like job of the hut. While the old lady in the shoes up, upstairs furiously fucking cooking, like cooking up a storm while all fucking 40 of their children just fucking run around in the yards, button heads and beating the shit out of each other in the fucking local community. You ain't none of them going to grow up to be shit. Shout out to Bub. He says, other plans soon. I was like, oh, we got a six month lease and then we got other plans. Oh, we got big stuff coming. Yeah, when you get kicked the fuck out. Bubs at Angry Bub says, uh, yeah, we all know which bullshit plans will not be taking place. What happened to his monkey? Who remembers when Isaac goes, oh, I'm getting a monkey? I shit you not. What happened to fucking Isaac's under analysis? What happened to his show? That we're going to start doing every Saturday, every Sunday, Wednesday, bi-weekly. We've done it twice. We're coming back. Charlie talk shit. We're going live Saturday, Sunday. We, uh, I'm sick.
what else did Erica want me to say? What do we got here? Who's a devil? Oh, Pookie. Ha <laughs> ha, Pookie. Yeah, shout out, man. These are everyone talking shit to Isaac on Dude, if y'all go to Isaac's Twitter, dude, like, he is getting no love, no support. He's he's struggling to break fucking 30 likes a post, dude. He's got nobody backing him up right now, man. He's fucking being hit hard by regs and trolls, dude. Like, dude, it's, it's, it's a blast, dude. It's a whole lot of fun, dude. And he's replying back. He's replying back like an annoyed asshole, the, like the irritated fat fuck that he is. He can't just be like, oh, whatever, you know, pick and choose who and what to respond to. He's, oh, no, I am. We'll, we'll read some in a minute. Shout out to my dude, Pookie Guest. I'm giving shout outs right here to my people on Twitter, man, that, you know, are keeping it real, holding it down. You're in the trenches while I'm gone. While Isaac's like, show me your face. Tell me who you really are. I promise I won't dox you. Fucking ass. Yeah, he's like, what do you mean you won't go on YouTube and complain about how bad your house is? Oh, he called him on it. Says you told everyone what a dump it was and you weren't paying and named off a list of stuff wrong with it. Your excuse for not paying was because it was a shithole. So he backs me up on there. Like, I was just like, Charlie's the one that goes on his channel and talks about how shitty his trailer is, not me. I'm not paying my rent because this is not, not done. That's not done. Blah, 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 blah. Ah. <laughs> Devil God says, Internet assistance dead. Bro, how do you not pay that? And Isaac Guest Facts. <laughs> Shout out to Isaac Guest Facts. Y'all need to go check and see him at Terry Taylor underscore one. Says that, uh, Property is about to be seized for non-payment of tax. I wonder what that is. <coughs> Let's see here. All right. <laughs> Shout out to Miss Cotty Wample. It's a little political, but hey, whatever. Biden is the one that, you know. He's footing the bill. He, he he signed the check. Yeah, she says Pickle Boy did not help out Puppet Boy, so he had so he had to get funds from Biden. Pickle Boy is obviously Michael. Puppet Boy is obviously Isaac, uh, uh, and Biden is obviously uh, uh, the Antichrist. Um, <laughs> according to some people, I uh, I think all politics are evil. She said, "How do you like rubbing Biden's blonde hairy legs?" Isaac, Isaac's got to rub his uh, 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 Biden's long, uh, uh, blonde, hairy legs. Well, come on, man, Isaac. You know he he he's no he never hurt a stranger. Danger. You know what I'm saying? Isaac doesn't. Isaac didn't have any fucking parents in his life. You know to teach him right from wrong. I was thinking about it the other day, man. Like, have we ever even seen Isaac's mom and dad? Like, he's never even fucking shared a picture. I bet the motherfucker ain't got a picture of his dad. Respergu, four ninety nine. Thank you. Says to help pay Isaac the rent. Yeah, maybe I'll throw Isaac a super chat. He he did he did give me a twenty one time, man. He needs it, Isaac. You really in that? Nah, fuck that. He, he's been scamming. He's all right. Kyle Roberts, thank you so much. Says is Mike actually paying this bunk bed watching the twin mattresses duct tape to his hook? <laughs> like I say, I don't think Mike's paying anymore <laughs> because uh. Isaac had to uh, 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 file for government assistance. You know, so if Mike is paying him anything, I really don't think it's much. You know. Ace Man says his mom and dad ran for the fucking hills. They're probably hiding with Elvis. Ah. <laughs> if they're lucky, if, he, if he's lucky, both his parents are dead. Actually, his mom's not dead, man. Miss Deborah is still around, you know, and uh, he loves to attack her any chance he can get. You know, I I don't mean to, I don't really mean no bad on her, you know, because she seems like she has her own issues and shit, you know, and she has him for a son, you know, and that's quite a sad, you know, thing for her, you know. I don't know if she has any other children that maybe she can rely on and look for, look, look to. Cause like, you know, our parents at a certain point, our parents are going to need our help, you know, whether they raised them, I don't know, whatever he, that him and his mom's relationship, that's on them. You know, I just know that I've never seen a picture of his mom 
or his dad. You know what I mean? And um, I mean, it just goes to show he had no guidance growing up in life. You see how he acts. You see how uh, how he thinks. You know, you ain't gotta you ain't gotta work hard to get by in life. You know, be your own bus boss. Run a run run a a, a failing company, an empire like me. You're not your own boss, bro. Biden is your boss. Like, yeah, he even said, thanks, Biden. He even thanked Biden. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. May I have some more? <laughs> devil, devil gods. I'm still dying over the fact that he needs help to pay the internet bill when he's on the job 24-7 and claimed it as his job. Uh, yeah, just imagine that shit. He actually has motherfuckers that he actually has to have motherfuckers pay his way to work. That's like it's like me saying, "Hey, boss, man, I get there, but man, you got to pay for my gas, bro. Man, I can't get to work, man. You got to, man, you got to pay my car insurance and my gas, and we need a car, man. You know, that's like, I mean, oh my god, that's like a motherfucker, yeah, getting you to work and home every fucking day." Isaac claims it's his fucking job, and he's not even making enough money off of it. To pay the internet bill. That was an astute observation, devil god, at the devil's got you. Here we go, August 23rd. Bub, angry bub, says this tweet didn't age well. Not much longevity in this tweet right here. I have a shit ton of money. August 23rd, 2021. I have a shit ton of money. Woo. Except he's holding his hands up and there ain't a fucking damn piece of paper in neither one of them. <clears throat> yeah, here we go. Check this out. This was uh, 6-29-2018. Isaac says, uh, are you paying attention? My family is fed. We're buying the house we're in in two weeks. They're buying the house that they're in. And that was in 2018. And then I'm buying a 2018 Jeep Cherokee. Keep up. Worry about that car y'all got that keeps breaking down. That, keep, that keeps having flat tires. I don't know where, when it ever broke down. I got to give a shout out to my fucking Jeep right now, though, man. It's kind of broke down, dude. I need some help. Give me some super chats. Here we go. How about that? How about that, Isaac? Give me some super chats. My Jeep is is broke down, guys. I need all the help that I can get. $5,000 would be amazing. No, but really, my Jeep is broke the fuck down right now, man. Uh, uh, I got to go check the transmission fluid level in the morning, man. Uh, it's a manual uh, but I can't, and I can't get it in reverse. I literally had to get Erica in the driver's seat and then hold the clutch and, you know, take the emergency brake. I had to back it up and push it out of the parking spot at work the other day to drive it home and shit, man. So it's kind of sitting. I'm hoping that it is just low transmission fluid. Um, but it's not catching in reverse. Every other gear is catching and maybe a little tight. So I'm hoping that it's just low transmission fluid, but it might be a clutch plate. Somebody said perhaps a synchronizer. Uh, um, who knows, man? So, yeah, I'm looking at spending some fucking money. Kyle Roberts, thank you so much. Says he was raised by McDonald's. <laughs> he is the Burger King. So, fast food. Yeah, I'm sure his grandma, I'm sure, because he's raised by his grandma, I'm sure she did just shove his face with, you know, fast food and just, he's like, where's my mama? She's like, eat these chicken nuggets. Junior, bastard. Ace man says, Charlie, if your Jeep won't go into first to reverse, check the fluid level. Take out the top fill plug. If fluid drips out, it's normal. And then, so if it's uh, not, yeah, if it does, if uh, if it doesn't, then I can fill it up. I think they got like sets about a fill tube. I've been working all fucking week, Ace Man, dude. Like, oh, man, I'm surprised I went live tonight. I I almost oh my is my phone or my computer is plugged in. Okay, yeah, I almost damn didn't go live tonight, man. I thought about just chilling and laying, going to bed, man. But <sighs> been working so fucking much, I gotta just try to enjoy every fucking minute I can tonight. 
and then yeah, so I looked on YouTube, and uh, and I, I, I see where you you know it, it shows me about where the, the you know it is and how to get it out. They said some kind of tool. Hopefully, I got the tool. If not, I'll go get it. And man, I'm really hoping and and keep my fingers crossed that it's just the transmission. Talking about cars breaking down. Speaking of which, like at the time, he's talking all this shit. Meanwhile, his fucking car does or his van doesn't even have insurance. He ain't got tags on his fucking van. He ain't even got a goddamn license himself. <laughs> yeah. Dude says, uh, who that boy says he'll never own a house for as long as he lives. With his credit score and past eviction history, I doubt he'll even be able to find a new place to rent. Point and laugh, though. <laughs> Everybody's laughing at you. What up, Roy? Much love to you, man. Thanks for joining. We're over here laughing at Isaac. Ha <laughs> ha. Fatty kid. Fatty keeps going on talking about, oh, my kids are playing football. I got them in cheerleading. I'm father of the year. Woo! I, I can't even keep a stable fucking house for them to stay in. I got a caseworker making sure that I keep a roof over their fucking heads. But I... And father of the year. Fuck out of here. He says, your kids are in your face. Shout out in your face, boy. He says, your kids are playing sports and cheering for the recreational part. It's not that deep. Like, put your daughters in comp cheer where it actually matters. But we all know you can't afford that. Isaac's like, uh, my, the, the, the church isn't paying for my kids. I'm paying for it. But uh, but I'm but I'm applying for assistance on my utilities, my sewer. I need my neighbors to pay for the for me to be able to flush my fucking toilet. But I can afford to put my kids in fucking uh, uh, free cheerleader camp. <laughs> uh, am I right, guys? Oh, here's some good one. Yeah, shout out to Hi at I Hate Joy for Life. It says, guess mob, you donated to a scammer and got caught. It says, dude, you said like so Isaac, like I say, Isaac has known for months that he's gonna have that he's gonna get evicted and that he needs a new place to stay. So what does he do? He uses the uh, the unfortunate situation of a fellow uh, guest mob member. <laughs> um, uh, ex guest mob member named Robin, uh, uh, and went around and told everybody that she's going to be homeless and that she, they, she needs five thousand dollars. Isaac uh, uh, whipped up five grand for this girl to get a new place, uh, but really in turn, Isaac is the one um, that is going to use that money to get a new place. Isn't that some shit? And not only that, but he also spent some money, like spent a thousand of it for new brakes for his for his uh, for his Jeep. He bought uh, what a new fucking uh, iPad or some shit like that. He started flaunting all the fucking money, and the people were like, "Wait, what about you know the money you took from Robin?" He says, "Oh no, I donated that money a month and a half ago." Even though he was still collecting the money up until he got busted, he just wasn't telling no fucking body. Uh, cause then he says, oh wait, no, I'm going to donate. No, I didn't, I didn't donate that a month and a half ago. I'm going to donate it. The guy says, Hey, uh, 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 hold on. Let's see here. Let's see here. All right. This is just a, uh, uh, let's go to broke slob. Uh, it was a screenshot, so I can't look at, uh, I can't, uh, pull it all up. At Broke Fat Slob. <laughs> Shout out to Broke Fat Flat Slob. Ah, is it good? Did he delete it? Anyways, Isaac would go on to say, hey, you know, damn. Um, uh, the 5K in donations was donated five months ago. Uh, it was donated. The 5K in donations was donated close to a month and a half ago. And then here he has this other tweet right here. Uh, who that boy though? Where's that? Set? Let's go back to who that boy though. Maybe that's who that boy though. 
says one of these tweets contradicts the other. Says um the five k in donations. Come on, Isaac, care to complain? Uh, 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 explain this. The five k in donations was donated close to a, a month and a half ago. Uh, uh, you're late as usual and wrong as always. I donated that five thousand uh, 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 a month and a half ago. But then he says, yo, the combo is here. Why would I donate the money a month and a half ago? Look, this is his own shit. Why would I donate the money a month and a half ago when uh, the Robin, when the Robin thing was still going on at the time? Which is exactly what the fuck I just said. Why would he donate all that $5,000 whenever he's still collecting it? When he was still collecting it up to the point of him getting exposed over it. To the point where Starshine uh, uh, would say, hey, you know, fuck you guys. I'm taking the crew and I'm leaving. And she even goes on to say, so nice to put in an honest day's work instead of relying on government and charity-based handouts. Like I say, man, I find myself saying this sometimes as well. I Sometimes I think it's a little pie, a little pious of me, a little pious, a little judgmental. But, you know, because like Isaac's not the only one in that boat. But, I mean... It's definitely a pointed, you know, criticism and attack. I'm not mean. I'm not, you know, aiming it at any of you guys. So there it is, right there. Uh, this is eight twenty five, twenty twenty one. I donated it a month and a half ago. See the date, eight twenty five, twenty one. And then here's September seventeenth, twenty twenty one. He says, "Why would I?" Donated a month and a half ago. Look. He literally said, yeah, he literally contradicted himself yesterday. You care to explain that? Oh, my God. God side note, I'm buying the new iPhone, Apple Watch, and iPad. I'm buying, 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 buying. He's buying, buying, buying. Meanwhile, where's that at? He's buying, buying, buying. Meanwhile, we're paying, paying, paying. And this fucker's laughing all the way to the bank with his small little, with his small little winnings, bro. And how many, how many, how many... Uh, uh, how many anonymous families do you think that he's going to fucking uh, uh, start doing donations for for Christmas? How soon do you think this fat motherfucker is going to damn start scamming his people for Christmas money for these unfortunate fucking families who shall remain nameless? God. Somebody, what they, somebody really needs to like, get in touch with the local news. Whenever he starts doing that here soon, somebody needs to get in touch with his local news and be like, hey, look, there's this con artist. There's this guy. Y'all done visited him once for being a famous YouTuber. And this is the third, this is the fourth year in a row where he's gone, where he's used his mega platform to scam unsuspecting victims and followers. I swear to God, boy, that'd be a, that'd be a story and a fucking half. I would love it. <laughs> so how about that shit? So check, yeah, and like, yeah, like, <laughs> Fatty's like, he filled out the application. I just had to log in and sign it. You still, you had to fucking do it. It was the only fucking way. The eviction moratorium is over, you fat motherfucker. If you didn't fucking sign this, you were going to be on your ass and still owe $2,000. And you're still going to be on your ass here soon any goddamn way. Bro, we're just wait, we're just sitting back watching. And then guess what? He's going to keep your fucking damn deposit. And he'll use that to make the repairs on the house that you and your fucking children have created. You throwing your fucking wife through walls. 
That's the only way the house is fucked up. Shit. And this is Michael's best friend. This is the one that Michael has been defending for so very long. This is the one that Michael chose over me. This is the one that Michael chose to replace me. To villainize me. This is Michael's best friend. Is that all the screenshots? Yeah, that's it. So, yeah, we covered a lot, man. What do you think? <laughs> Stacy Walker says, why would Mike choose a loser like that to try and destroy you? Makes no sense. I mean, really, like that is Michael's biggest uh, 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 mistake out of all of this, you know, and trying to take me out using Isaac. Which I got to be thankful for Michael's lapse of judgment because had he chose somebody stronger, more credible, and more capable, dude, I'd been fucking buried long ago. Y'all be like Charlie who right now. You know what I mean? Christy says he's jealous of you 100%. I mean, and it's crazy. You would think that it would be vice versa, you know? Like, I was listening to Howard the other day, and uh, he was uh, interviewing. Uh, uh, it was an old interview with Norm McDonald. Rest in peace, Norm. I love you. Uh, uh, and yeah, wish I wish I had followed his work more. You know, I always we always tend to fall in love with these uh these acts. You know, after they pass away, more than when they were alive. It seems you know. And uh, I've been watching a lot of Norm shit. I was listening to Norm on Howard Stern, and he was talking. Uh, Norm was there with Kevin Farley, which is Chris Farley's brother. And uh. Howard got into a deeper line of questioning with Kevin, you know, and uh, kind of brought up how, you know, Kevin might, you know, being that Kevin was the older brother, you know, Kevin was, uh, you know, jealous of his baby brother, you know, uh, uh, getting famous. And he would ask this question to a few, uh, he would ask this to a few different people too, you know, and it seems like the general consensus is that the older children, you know, when the younger children, you know, elevate higher than the older children, you know, that, uh, you know, it, it tends to breed a certain amount of jealousy, you know, and, uh, like for one, that just wasn't the case with me. You know, I was just happy and thrilled and honored to be a part of the YouTube family, YouTube's first family or whatever, you know, um, when in fact, you know, it seems like Michael was the one that was bothered by, uh, my success, you know, like even up to fucking three months ago, back in April, you know, I was doing so well that I rented, me and Erica rented an Airbnb down on Edisto Beach Island uh, uh, to take the family and have ourselves a little vacation. And Michael got so jealous about it that he tried to fake a video of Johnny accusing me of giving him drugs. And that was just in April, you know, May, June, July, August, September, not even damn a full five months ago. You know? And I've been doing my best. I've been working my hardest. Staying sober. Staying positive. I had fucking moved JC in. Tried to get him in at Job Corps. I was really poised to fucking come back and, you know, help, a, you know, uh, create a positive change within the family, you know. And you all were like, oh, shit. Watch Charlie go. What do you think of this, Michael? And Michael's like, what do I think of this? Hey, Johnny, tell everyone Charlie gave you pills. You know, so there's some, there's definitely something, something, something to it. You know, there's more than just, you know, uh, me being an asshole and uh, 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 harming them when I'm on drugs and alcohol. You know, there's definitely a whole lot more to it, you know. Woo, 
Ooh, I'm starting to get a fucking headache, guys. It's a little after nine o'clock. Uh, been on live an hour and a half. Well, not not a whole long time, but you know what, man? Like I've been working all week. I put in what, like fucking not a lot, like forty eight hours, you know. But man, I've been up since four o'clock this morning, guys. I am looking forward to bed. Oh man. Mm, 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 mm. But I had to come live tonight, guys. I had to share this shit with you. We had to, to clear the air, uh, address some things, and laugh together like a bunch of happy wolves, eh? Hey? Because like I say, man, these motherfuckers have drugged me through the mud for so damn long that it's nice. You know what I mean? To sit back and say hi hi and let you, you know, let you guys all do it. Hey, look, like look at eight tracks at eight tracks uh at eight tracks on Twitter. He replied, Fatty's uh, joking about bragging about buying new iPhones and shit while he just uh, uh qualified for more government assistance. Eight tracks says, Come on, man, not something you should really brag about. If times really aren't tough for you. Uh, and you can afford rent and refuse to pay that, but still take government assistance made for people at the poverty line, then this is not a good thing to be proud of, man. And then my homie Junior Gutierrez. Shout out to my little brother Junior. We love you, brother. Posted a gift. Man, you are one pathetic loser. And you really are, bro. Like, how does that, how do you think that fucking, how is that supposed to be a flex? Honestly. Like, honestly, like, how can Isaac sit there and share uh, 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 proof of government assistance and the fact that he's scamming the government or more than likely he falls under the poverty line? That's really what it is. He ain't really scamming because they, they went through his fucking uh, financial records. They know exactly how much this motherfucker making is making. He's got 10 grand a month under the book somewhere. <laughs> Good God, dude. I've never witnessed anybody as fucking delusional in my life, man. Dougie, much love, Dougie. Ace Man says, can you shift the engine, the Jeep into reverse with the engine off? I mean, it goes to it, but it doesn't catch. Like when I put it in reverse, it goes, and it, it grinds, man. It feels like it's not uh, kicking in. And they say sometimes that's from the synchronization. Like, I'll, you know, uh, but no, when, it, when it's in part or when it's the engine's off, it goes in the reverse, but it just kind of sits there. Like, you can't really feel it go in. You know what I mean? So, yeah, I don't know, man. I'm I'm hoping that it's kind of an easier fix. Otherwise, I'm going to be working a lot more overtime here in the future, in the near future, to pay for my fucking Jeep. Dougie says it could be the clutch. Yeah, fuck, we're gonna find out. I've been going on. I've been I've been on uh, Google, you know, looking up every damn thing. Stephen G says, "I'm not. I'm, I'm not surprised you don't know. What do you mean, like that? I don't know about my vehicle. Like whatever. <laughs> not all of us are fucking damn uh, uh, them fuckers from Top Gear. You know what I'm saying? I kind of do, though, man. I kind of feel like it's one of my regrets, man. I wish that you know I had took an interest in automobiles at a younger age, though, you know, and learned." Because uh, that's quite the skill. and It'll save you a shit ton of fucking money. Plus, make you a lot of money, you know? Knowing how to work on your own shit. It's quite the, it's quite the, it's quite the, uh, uh, the skill to have. Definitely. So, uh, and yeah, my dad never taught me. That's it. You know what I'm saying? It's a generational thing pretty much for all of us. If we don't really know something... Usually it's because our dads, our family, our parents don't know. If we do know something, it's usually because, like, if I knew how to work on cars, you know, usually the motherfuckers that you see that know how to work on cars, their daddies knew how to work on them or their uncles. They were they were raised in the environment, you know what I mean? 
Um, my daddy was a roofer. His daddy was a roofer. I'm a roofer, you know. Um, I, I I wouldn't be surprised to hear Isaac's kids, you know. My daddy was on a, a welfare. I'm on welfare, you know, just the way it is, you know, so. Apple doesn't nearly, doesn't, doesn't nearly fall too far from the tree, you know, in most cases, you know. And I'm living proof of that. Hell, look at look at my daddy and look at me. I kind of look at my dad. Look at my neck. God, I gotta get look at that. God, look like my daddy. God, do you? Do? Uh, Ace Man says the synchronizer. Yeah, if it is, yeah, I'll see that. You know, it's, what they say like twelve hundred bucks or some shit. I've been reading, reading on it, man. Zigzag says Isaac's mom is on welfare too. Isaac learned the tricks from and trade from her. I can believe it. And his grandma. Did his mama raise him or did his grandmama raise him? I always heard him say that his grandmama raised him, but she now that I now that I say that, I'm like, why would the fuck would I believe anything Isaac says? Even about himself, you know, where he lived, where he was raised. Like I say, you ain't never seen a picture of him or his mama. I wouldn't be surprised if he hadn't been raised by, you know. A, a group, a family of wild chicken nuggets living in the woods, you know what I'm saying? Surviving, you know, <laughs> off the land or some shit like that. He looks like a big giant chicken nugget. Oh, man. Anyway, man. Ryan Cypher, man. Much love to you. Peace Treaty. Anna Q. Says you look like Grandpa. Angry Junior says you look like Grandpa. Yeah. I guess I am a little handsome, huh? Dude, like the other day, man, I said, I made this face, dude. <laughs> I was just freshly shaved, too, so I didn't even have a little scruff trying to, you know, helping me, you know. Dude, I made this. I can't remember how it was. Oh, God. Yeah, okay, I don't know. Like, I made this fucking face, dude. That dude had just busted Erica up so fucking bad, dude. Like she laughed so fucking good that like I almost got offended a little bit. <laughs> She's like she laughed so good, like it almost hurt my feelings. Like I intentionally made this fucking funny face, but she laughed so hard at it that I was like, oh god, like I must be, uh, I'm hideous. <laughs> Oh man! And then she tried to say something like, "Oh no, it was food in your mouth" or something like that. And I'm just like, "Yeah, okay." Oh man, yeah. So, Kristen Baskin says, "What happened to Charlie's Twitter?" It's still here, right? You can follow me on Twitter at the Angry Sun, the Angry Sun at Son of AGP. Here I am right there, picture of me on my Jeep. It's funny, Isaac's like, I'm getting a Jeep. And then I'm the one that got the Jeep. How about that shit? Isn't that, isn't that funny how that worked out? Rebecca would, 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 would point that out. And everybody check this out, man. Somebody shared, Bowser G uh, shared the best uh, picture right here. This is a picture of Isaac on moving day. There's Nikki and Juliet. Throwing all, throwing all their shit to the curb while Isaac confronts the cops. <laughs> Look how fucking wide Isaac is. There's, there's, Isaac par there's Isaac's paraglider pants. <laughs> That's the same sail that they had used on the SS Minnow. I don't know how the fuck he found it on Gilligan's Island in such pristine condition, but nevertheless, he put the sails to good use. Wearing him as shorts now. <laughs> yep, this is their this is them on moving day. It's coming here real soon. And we're looking forward to it. It's, it's just a shame that all the children's stuff is gonna be stuck on the side of the fucking road, too, you know. Such an absolute goddamn shame that, you know. This pathetic fucking excuse of a man needs a damn caseworker to make sure that him and his family have a roof over their fucking heads. It's an absolute travesty that a man must fucking sue you 
for what right what rightfully belongs to him for rent that's owed. You know, sad as fuck that a man has to beg you to do the right thing and apply for government assistance. Isaac said that he wasn't going to pay a fucking dime until the man took care of repairs. Those repairs aren't done, are they? Isaac's like, he's not getting paid a dime. I'm not paying him. Trying to pull loophole shit. When the fact of the matter was, Isaac's like, yo, you're, they're like, yo, you're going to get kicked the fuck out now if you don't uh, sign these papers. Fat fuck. And you've only got till here now. This only lasts you so fucking long. Now Isaac's like, oh, there's something else new in the mix. You're going to see his ass get kicked out here in a couple months and he's going to be looking for a new place to stay. And I, like I say, I don't know how the fuck he's going to do it with his fucking past uh, uh, renter's fucking record. He's going to have to put the, uh, the, the, uh, the place in his kids' names or something. Put them in Nicole's name but say, hey, she's mute. I speak for her. Anna Q, Angry Jr., Consuelo Escobado, Nicole. Mark Elosta, Ryan C. Miscellaneous Brew Reviews. Says we have some allies on YouTube. Much love. Hell yeah. Been around a while. I've made some friends. Made some enemies. I've uh, had some friends turn enemies and come back to being friends. You know, like I say, Michael, man, he held a he held a big amount of sway, man. For a while there, Michael could tell y'all anything he about me and y'all believed it because y'all love Michael you know and he had that credibility to him which is just gone now <laughs> Bub says his shorts are shaped like a couple of paper grocery bags he probably you know those fucking those cargo pockets on his fucking shorts are probably the fucking size of grocery bags I swear to god this motherfucker check it out <laughs> Look at them fucking cargo pockets, bro. This motherfucker keeps a loaf of bread, a fucking, a fucking, a coil of sausage, fucking Nintendo Switch, fucking hemorrhoid cream, and a fucking five books of fucking food stamps all in the fucking right pocket right there. Ace man says he'd be bagging groceries in his pocket straight up. <sighs> so anyways, man, it's 930. That's when I said I was going to go ahead and get off. Start smoking cigarettes. You ready to go to bed. Uh, somebody deleted their, 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 oh, fatty's deleting tweets. Ah, fatty's deleting comments or hiding them or some shit. Oh my God. Wait, can you delete comments? No, you can hide and shit like that. Anyway, I don't know. It's a lot. It's a whole lot. And there's going to be a whole lot more. And I'm going to jump on here and I'm going to share. And I'm going to pick and poke and laugh every chance I get. So. If that makes me look bad, fine. If that makes me look patty, fine. I don't care. I'll be patty. Like I'm having a good time. And uh, I think you all are, you know, deep down, you're all enjoying it as well. Am I right? Come on. I mean, like. You know, his time is up. My time is now. I'm back on top. And, uh, I mean, as long as I continue to do the right thing, man, stay on the right track, bro, you know, this fucker's just going to be a damn a dot in my rear view. You know what I mean? So, Marcus McGarvey, Bub, Brenda Pika, Ace Man, Moon Rocks, Ryan Cypher, 
Peace Treaty, Lightning McQueen Reviews, Kristen uh, Baskins. Just pray for me, Wolfgang. Much love to you, Kristen. Hopefully everything's going out with going on going okay with you. Much love, positive vibes to you, to all y'all. Kevin Zerfus. Bowser G. Oh, dropped a 20 on me, man. Ooh, oh, man. Thank you so much. I appreciate that, bro. <laughs> He's like, yeah, here you go, man. You did a good job, Charlie. Boom, right there. I appreciate that, man. That means a lot. And uh, I'll take Eric to go buy a burger or something with it, man. That will get that right there before Halloween. Not sure what she wants to do. I think she wanted to go somewhere for Halloween the weekend before. So I'm not so sure. Well, we'll see. We'll see what's up. Thank you, Bowser. You're awesome, man. Jason Wren, what's up, brother? It's good to see your name up there, man. That was quick. Ain't seen you around on Twitter in a while, man. We've been destroying Fatty, dude. It is. <laughs> it's a beautiful thing, man. I said I was going to read some comments. People trolling Isaac, but it's a little late now, man. I really feel like everything is just starting to fall now. Like, how do my eyes look? They're falling. Oh, man. Oh, man. Who was that damn, there was some guy that did a, a, a live stream of him sleeping. Some some Twitch streamer or something, live stream him, stream, just him sleeping all night and like made a lot of money too. That's funny. I wonder if, uh, <laughs> I wonder if uh, I can make some money while I'm sleeping. Just vlogging. I'm not vlogging. Yeah, I'll be, <laughs> I had the camera. Maybe I'll have to, I'll do a an alert sound. Somebody donates or something. It kind of triggers something in my brain. I don't know, Katie. I can't even think right now, guys. Holy shit! I thought I, I didn't even like I said. I didn't even think I was gonna be able to make it. Once I got I got home and I was just like, uh, I'm tired. Everything was bright outside. You know, like I got off at like ten o'clock. You know, that went went to work when it was still dark, uh, dark out and was coming home while the sun was breakfast sun you know it was weird it was weird and i gotta go to bed and get my shit back in order ah miscellaneous brews zigzag bowser g half them motherfuckers on twitch can make people fall asleep <laughs> i'm not allowed on twitch anymore anyway like i said i showed my ass on twitch <laughs> i literally Pulled down my pants and mooned the camera on Twitch. And uh, I'm not allowed to have Twitch anymore. I didn't want Twitch anyway. Like, what the fuck is Twitch? You know what I mean? It used to be like, you know, just like gaming and shit. And I'm like, man, fuck, I don't want to game. You know, that's just not what I do, you know? So. And now I got a decent job. You know, put in, just put in for a promotion. Quite honestly, I don't think I'm going to get it. I put in for two promotions, actually. Uh, that that they uh, that they're offering, you know, the comp, you know, the workers, you know, and uh, there are a few people that have been there longer than me, and there, quite honestly, there might be a few people out there that are maybe a little more qualified than me, you know. So, but hell, I put in for it anyway. The least that they can do is say no. At the most, I get a fucking substantial raise, you know. So, fingers crossed on that. Might happen. You know, if not, I'm just going to stay grinding, stay uh, hustling, and uh, I'm going to get there, you know, hopefully sooner rather than later, you know. That's what all this work I'm putting in right now is for, you know what I mean? And uh, and I'm happy to have the ability to do it and the sanity, you know. And coming home, you know, from a hard day's work to hear Isaac is getting evicted and then he lost to his landlord and shit is a real... It was a real boost. It's a real, it's a real shot to the arm for me, you know. Whenever I'm feeling like, uh, oh man, why does life kind of suck, and why do I have to act like it doesn't? You know what I mean? It's like something you always hear me on Facebook and on Twitter and shit. Like, hey, how's it going, lucky man? Wolf pack, I love you. Ow, keep grinding and struggling, you know. Even when I may not fucking mean it sometimes, you know. <laughs> you know, I still just keep banging that fucking that tambourine, you know what I mean? And pretending like everything's good, you know? And because overall it is good, quite honestly, you know, but, um, uh, I don't know. I forgot. I forgot my point. I just tried to ramble. See, there I am, man. I'm, I'm, I'm my brain is mushed. 
My brain is living much. Battery running low. I didn't even have the computer plugged in. All right. So, anyways, that's as good as time. Any to go ahead and pop off of here. 180 people watching. 173 thumbs up. We're almost right there. I like it. I'll take it. You know. And uh, and I love you guys for it, man. Thank you so much for following us. Bowser G, get it, Charlie. You got all of us here right behind you, rooting for you. Even the ones lurking, be support. I oh, know. Even the ones lurking. Be supporting me, man. I know that shit's right. Like, is it how, how many uh, how many of Fatty's fans have been like, yeah, Charlie could have a million subscribers if he hadn't have fucked up. You know, they're like, yeah, you'll never hear him say that about Isaac. Isaac, you could have a million subscribers, but you don't. <laughs> well, why don't you have a million subscribers then? <laughs> yeah. Ace Man says, good ass battery down a 74 minute stream. I know, right? Is it plugged in? Now it's plugged in. Look at that shit. Yeah. Maybe at some point it wiggled loose or some shit like that. I don't know. Anyways, William Gabriel, much love to you. Says, stay motorboat. And I definitely will. We went to a dairy farm today. <laughs> Speaking of motorboat, and we went to a dairy farm today. And where's it at? The fucking cow started chewing my shirt. Watch this. I, I took a picture of myself. I took a picture of myself with the with the with my cow friend and it was on live. Live photo. Watch this. The cow licks me. Licks me and then bites me. He he she was eating my shirt. So while while Isaac was uh Sitting at home fucking uh, getting paid by Joe Biden to fight with fucking trolls online all day. I went to work overtime, came back home in time to go to a dairy farm, get chewed on by a cow. Look, there goes he's like, moo, motherfucker. You bite hamburger? Hamburger bite back, motherfucker. Moo. Out here having fun. Bought me some chocolate milk and some orange milk. <clears throat> Bought some cheese curds. I thought about doing a video, guys. I got some buttermilk and some chicken flavored breadcrumbs. I was going to fry up some cheese curds. I think maybe I might do a video cooking up some cheese curds. What do y'all think? And, uh, and yeah. Out here having a good time. <laughs> Bowser G says the only thing Isaac has going for him is an eviction notice. He's going to look cute as fuck with his new iPhone sitting on the streets. <laughs> oh, my God. <clears throat> hey, priorities, right? You got to have you got to have your priorities lined up. You know, fuck rent. Fuck making sure that my kids have a place to stay as long as I look fresh. Long as I've got a new iWatch. What a fucking loser. All right, guys. I got to say good night again. <laughs> I just said good night 10 minutes ago. Here I am again. Good night. <laughs> Zigzag, Ace Man, Roy, Morbid, Bowser. Ha, Ace Man, this uh, the fucking cow drug you into the electric fence. Ha, ha, ha. Just, uh, they like grabbing the shirts for some reason, huh? And it was weird that cow had like the roughest tongue, man. It was crazy as shit, man. Kind of reminded me of my mom. Kind of reminded me of my mom's tongue a little bit. She had these crazy ass cracks and fissures in her tongue. You know, it just looked. I, I didn't, she never licked me with it. You know, thank God. But it just looked rough. My mom had a Guernsey cow. My mom had a tongue like a Guernsey cow. <laughs> Rotten potatoes.